How's it going everyone? So we're out here at my little personal range and uh, we have the O-Site here. Battery is pretty much fully charged, it's pretty close. So I zeroed it in before I came out here and uh, we're gonna see how well it does and if it stays zero and everything on, right now it's 22. Silence of Shop made a video saying some uh, Plumber's tape will keep the walk off on this from happening so much. So we're about to find that out in the process of doing this as well. So let's uh let's see how the O site does. Hit the target. Hit the target. Check that time. Oh, if it's me. Not sure. Cool thing is, is there's been zero walk off. However, I don't know if this thing is not the weight of this might be causing my feeding issues. I didn't even think about that. This is a much larger optic, so could be the case. Oh, I guess safety glasses is probably important, right? Fed another round. I don't know what that weird noise is. I don't know if it's the ammo or if I'm getting baffle. No, this thing's this thing's on there. It shouldn't be baffle strike. One thing I am not hitting anything I'm aiming at. This is a different ammo, so that could be, just keep, occasionally the rounds are sounding really weird. Not sure. Still on there tight. Let's see if I can hit the close target. I think I'm really high. Now it's acting like it's hitting where I'm shooting. Maybe I just can't shoot. Never know. I gotta load my magazines back up. I'll have to throw the bore sight back on uh, 
at the house. I have a feeling if it's not elevation and the issue is windage, I have a feeling the issue isn't the site, that it's probably the optic plate. Because uh, the optic plates tend to come loose and I'm not sure how tight, I thought I got it on there pretty tight, but I may have not gotten it on there very tight. But if that shifted, because there's nothing really locking it in necessarily. I mean, it's two screws. I mean, it's locked in, but there's how when you've got an optic ready slide, you have like these little indentions for the optic or an optic plate not to shift. This doesn't have it because I don't technically have an optic ready slide. So with that being said, that very well could be the case is I'm just like left and right instead of dead on because it shifted over. Hoping that's not the case. But, cause I really don't wanna pay 200 bucks for an optic ready slide. I mean, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm not gonna pay 200 bucks for an optic ready slide. Why did I put my magazine in the ammo box in the ammo in my hand? So, a little slow feed, but it fed. Let's see. Let me try to hit the closer targets again and see what's going on. I'm to the left, so it's not elevation, it's windage. That is probably the little thing shifting around, so. At least I know that. Let's see if I can hit the gong. It's pretty far out. It's probably about, I don't know, 40, 50 feet. Yeah, so about 40 feet away, I, uh, I was probably over about that far to hit the gong. Let's see if I can do it on command. Nope. Yeah, so I'll show you where the gong is that I'm shooting at. So I was standing over here, the gong, and I don't know if you can see it, but I will walk over to it. Yeah, and I'm going to make a video about my little setup and what I'm doing because it's not even close to being done. A lot of those trees that are in the way are going to get cleared out. I'm going to get more range for rifle stuff. Pistol stuff, that's pretty good distances for training and everything. But, yeah, so we're going to be clearing some trees out. And I'll go over this whole setup eventually, just right now. Um, I really wanted to test out this optic and see how it's doing. And it doesn't seem like the optic's giving me problems. Um, yeah, let's knock it around a little bit and see if I can still hit the gong now. So, So it's still about the same spot. Again, I'm guessing how to hit it because I'm not actually aiming at it. I'm aiming to the left. So, but staying on zero so far. Yeah, now that I know where I'm pointing at. Still no walk off, so that, that plumber's tape does fix that. Yeah, so it stayed zero for that little test. I've got a lot more testing to do. Um, I'm gonna tighten that plate up. I need to get some Loctite and really crank it down and make sure it stays in place, but we'll sit down and we'll talk about it. We'll go back inside. 
Yeah, so we went out to the range with the O-Sight, and I mean, don't get me wrong, it is a big optic, but it is super easy to find your your dot. I wasn't having to like look around for it or anything. It was, when I held it up, it was right there. And like uh, the whole little being off to the side, that was the plate when I got back here, I took the optic off and just kind of left the plate on and I shifted it and it had some play. So I got a better tool to tighten it up because I used like this really whippy little screwdriver to tighten those on. I didn't have enough torque on it. Crank those on. Pretty sure it's going to be good from here on out. I'm going to run a lot more testing. I mean, we probably only ran, I'd say, 100-ish, close to 100 through it. Knocked it around a little bit, tested it though. It was just the windage that was off. So elevation, solid. So it was definitely the plate. So, so far it's held zero because it was in that same spot. I brought it over to the left a little bit and it stayed right there. So I think it was able to shift and then it kind of got just enough pressure when it shifted that it wouldn't move anymore. But yeah, so far this thing's pretty cool. If it keeps running good, I'm definitely gonna get another one for the carry, but I think this is a pretty cool setup. I gotta see longevity of how this does. I know that these P17s, they're not really meant for that much weight. I think that's why I had some failure to uh, feeds because I used to never get those before. And now we're starting to uh, we're starting to experience some issues, which is okay. This is a plinker. I don't really care that much. I am curious though, if it's gonna slowly degrade anything in here. But yeah, so that is the, the O site here. And I have a previous video where I explain manipulating everything. So if you're interested in kind of finding more information about how to use your OSight, that video is one of my most recent videos. Um, I go over the charging cover. I go over how to go through the different settings and some of the specs of it. But if you want a good window and you want to be able to get faster target acquisitions, now this could be something that kind of affects how, how well you're able to conceal. But to be honest, the pro of being able to just see everything so quickly is just, it's just worth it to me. I think it's just a better deal altogether. So as long as it holds zero, I think this thing's phenomenal and I'm gonna keep testing it. So be prepared for, you know, maybe a month or two down the road when I do a recap on this and how it performs. But that's what I got for you. I hope you liked the video. If you would hit it with a like, subscribe to the channel ton more stuff to come and I know a lot of people want to see like range progression videos and how I kind of train myself just like I'm gonna have to readjust now that I've got a new red dot there's a lot of different things that I do to get more comfortable with my new setup every time I transition to where I'm not fumbling around and things like that manipulating whatever whatever I've changed I've retrained myself into not having that issue and I'm going to go through what steps I take. Now I'm not a professional, so I'm not saying, hey, this is gonna make you some sort of like firearm master. But these are the things that I do that help kinda make me a little bit faster with some of the things that I'm doing in my videos and everything. So I'll have a whole progression video of that, progression of the little ghetto range that I'm making and all those things to come. So I'll see y'all next time.